Welcome to the lesson on navigating ThoughtSpot. In this lesson, you will learn how to navigate the ThoughtSpot user interface along with the different sections present on the homepage. You will also learn how to switch between Spotter and Search Data. To get the most out of your ThoughtSpot experience, it's helpful to get familiar with the overall user interface. ThoughtSpot features a main navigation bar along the top that provides access to the most important functions. The available options are dependent on the settings established by the administrator, so may vary from what is seen here, but all users have access to home, answers, and live boards. Let's first discuss the home page. Note that, that you can always return here by clicking the ThoughtSpot icon in the upper left corner or the Home tab. With the search bar on the homepage, you can use Spotter to ask questions about your data using natural language. Directly below the search bar, you see a KPI watch list where you can show important KPIs that you want to keep an eye on. Coming back to Spotter, you can search using natural language queries and can get access to AI generated answers. Click the search icon present in the top right corner to find existing answers and live boards that match your search. This search bar lets you search for your existing objects such as answers and live boards from any page in ThoughtSpot. For more advanced queries, you can use search data. Search data allows you to complete a search of your selected data source using attributes, measures, filters, and keywords. As you type in the search bar, ThoughtSpot automatically offers matching search terms. If a suggested term matches what you intend to enter, you can simply select it from the list. Once you've entered all the search terms, you click go to run the search and the results are visualized as a chart, map, or table. The search can then be saved and shared with others. In ThoughtSpot, this saved search is referred to as an answer. Your answers and any that have been shared with you will be listed on the home page and on the answers page. You can mark any answer as a favorite by clicking on the star icon corresponding to the answer name. Clicking into any saved answer will run the search using the most up-to-date data available, based on the data refresh as defined by your organization. Now, let's look briefly at live boards. A live board is a live interactive dashboard that groups a set of related visualizations or answers together. Once you run a search, you can add or pin it to a new or existing live board. Live boards can be accessed through the homepage and live boards tab. Just like with answers, you can share your live boards with others and can also favorite them. You can kick off Spot IQ analysis from any search. Using Spot IQ, you can find interesting answers in your data that you might not have found on your own. Spot IQ also learns from your responses to your insights. Here, you can find all the Spot IQ analysis reports that were generated from a search answer, live board, or worksheet. Let's now look at the data workspace. Here you can view data objects such as tables and worksheets and can create or edit connections to external databases. Now let's look at the help and profile sections in the upper right corner. The help section is where you find some general support and can search the online documentation, community, and training sites. You can access and manage your profile here by selecting your avatar in the top right corner. Finally, if enabled, the AI, Assisted chat support helps you get chat-based support from any window in ThoughtSpot. Let's look more closely at your profile. You can make edits to the display name by clicking on the Edit button next to the Name field. You can also edit your language, email, and notification settings. Under Experience, you can switch between the latest UI design and the previous one. 